Last time I left you, I had finished the book Pet Cemetery, and I was supposed to watch the movie, and then I was starting fi Firestarter, right? So, um, things have progressed since last time I've updated you. Uh, I did watch the movie Pet Cemetery, and it's just like I remembered. <laughs> uh, I couldn't, I still couldn't uh, allow myself to watch the, uh, the creepy as hell parts. Uh, the, the one scene that I couldn't watch when I was a teenager, I still can't watch today. So I watched it with my husband and I had him, like I pretty much was like, la 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 la. <laughs> and then had him like tell me when it was safe to watch again. So those, so <laughs> it's sad. I'm like a grown adult woman and I still can't watch. It's just, it's bad okay and when I get to the like spoiler part of this you know movie I'll let you know what that scene is but it definitely is not hitting the same notes or the same level at all compared to the book like this is definitely a you know battle versus book versus movie the book has definitely like KO'd movie easily the reason why I like this book so much is because of the family dynamic, the family like um, connections between all of them, okay? And the grief that is explained in this book hit even more so this time around than the first time around, which I already talked about in the book discussion. Uh, and you, there's no way, there's no way to like get that in a movie okay like uh lewis the you know the main the dad the main character his thought process and the way that he like sorts through his feelings about things and the way he talks himself into stuff and the way he just the way he does things okay you can't there's no there was no there would be no way to get that in a movie none i can't i can't explain it i just I just know that there's no way a movie can portray what the book has in it. But if you would have asked my teenage self, I would say that these two are pretty neck and neck. And the reason I say that is because back then it was more the creep factor, like all the creepy, creepy crap that happens and all the scary, scary horror parts of the book. They are done pretty well in this movie. They still are. I mean, it's, it's an old movie. And it's very obvious in some parts that it's a very old movie. Those parts that I remember as a teenager, those experiences and those like feelings that came up while I was reading the book, that was portrayed easily in the movie. And it was done, I feel like it was done as well as it could be for the time period that it was done in. So there was a lot more to the whole grief situation of all of everything that happens everyone every character handles the grief situation stuff like that i just don't think that that can be shown through a movie which is why books are so great right so pet the re okay so spoiler alert if you um want to skip over the parts that i'm going to talk about that's spoilery for both not only the book but also the movie uh the part that scares me like terrifies me and you might make fun of me for that and that's fine if you do <laughs> is when Rachel has, you know, her sister Zelda, I think it's Zelda or she's got some kind of spinal issue. Honey, why don't you just go ahead and put that name of that disease right here somewhere. Okay, there you go. All right, viewers, see that? That's what the, the sister has, right? Okay, so that disease um, obviously disfigures her and it's extremely painful and there's all kinds of issues with it okay and the way it's explained in the book is done extremely well and the way that it's explained or the way it's shown in the movie is creepy as all get up okay like holy crap that will definitely give you nightmares just the way she speaks the way that she's that she portrays the way that's all done it is like creep factor 100 okay and if rachel if i were rachel and i went through that as a kid having to experience that through my sister that mm, i don't know if i would have been able to be a normal person after that to be honest because she's like eight when she watches 
her sister died from this disease. And it's just like, wow, that I can't watch that. I just can't. I, I will get in nightmares. So I still skip. I still don't watch that stuff. Like just hearing it was good enough for me. Uh, so there's that. But anyway, the fact that, you know, the, um, and this is still spoiler, uh, the, you know, the grief I was talking about, I've already talked about in the book wise would, you know, when Gage dies, when he has his, you know, the semi hits him and his father and his mother and his sister and everyone else has to like deal with that. It is done so well in the book. Like I just, there's just no, and the and the father going pretty much slipping into madness. Like he does a pretty decent job of like showing that, but his thought process and him like slipping in through his mind through the madness and everything is like it's just so much more in the book. So and I don't feel like they could possibly have put that out there in the movie, no matter what they would have done. So, you know, those those factors, the book definitely easily easily wins.